everybody it's Brandon this video we're going to talk about the vacuum system kind of how it operates the things associated with the vacuum system and it's you know something's kind of hidden behind the instrument panel uh, sight unseen and it's kind of hard to kind of wrap your mind around how it works but once I show you this uh, quick little video you'll have a full understanding of how the vacuum system works and uh, if you have any uh, problems with the vacuum system uh, how you'll know and probably what's causing it okay so first off, it all starts with this vacuum pump, okay? This is bolted to the back of your engine, and typically there's a little sprocket right here that sticks in the back of the engine. So when the engine's turning, it's turning your vacuum pump. And this works just like a vacuum cleaner. This is just sucking air. I'm gonna demonstrate that here in a little bit. Okay, then down the line, everything starts with this air filter. It sucks air through the filter and filters it, and then, it goes through these two instruments. You have your attitude indicator and your directional gyro. Okay. What happens is we use air to go through these instruments. It spins the gyro up inside and then it goes down the series to the next instrument and then eventually makes it to your vacuum pump, which is uh, where all your suction is coming from. And then it just kind of exhales out the side of your vacuum pump into the engine compartment. So very simple system. Uh, the only thing I don't have today is a suction gauge, but everybody's familiar with that. When you're looking at your instrument panel, it's going to tell you how much suction uh, you're getting. So, a uh, quick little demonstration real quick. You can kind of see this attitude indicator. It's just kind of, it's just kind of there. See that? Like it's just not really kind of doing too much. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on our, my little vacuum cleaner. I'm going to put suction to the back of this. We'll spin it up, and then the gyro inside, you'll be able to hear it and see it. It's going to be a lot steadier. But you can kind of see how it's just not, it's just kind of whatever. Okay. All right, so let's try this real quick. Let's take just a second. All right, so as you guys can see, my pitch up, it goes up, it goes down, left and right. I don't know if you guys can hear that in the microphone. You can hear the gyro kind of spinning up inside. So that's all it does is we use a, a gyro, we spin that up, it stays rigid in space. So as the aircraft pitches around, that gyro is staying steady and then it's causing that reaction in your attitude indicator and then the same thing's happening with your DG okay that's how the system works so let's talk about some problems that might kind of arise uh, with it so first off whenever you set a flight instrument after startup typically your engine RPM is low so if the engine isn't spinning that fast your vacuum pump isn't spinning that fast and in that case it's not going to produce as much suction as if it would whenever you're at full power um, or cruising RPM um, so whenever you set an instrument, don't be surprised whenever you get to your run-up area and it's off 5 or 10 degrees. Now, if it's off maybe 40, 50, 60, you know, 90 degrees or something, then maybe um, there's something wrong with your instrument. And the same thing with this attitude indicator. If it starts and it's crooked and it never really fixes itself and becomes upright and stable, then maybe you need to see about getting your attitude indicator repaired. But typically, everything will work just fine as long as your suction is up at least four and a half uh, inches of uh, suction. So that's how that works. Now, if you're flying and all of a sudden something becomes damaged in this uh, vacuum pump and it starts to lock up, there's a little shear pin right in there and it'll shear that to keep this rocket from, uh, you know, causing damage to the motor part of everything. So if you're flying around and all of a sudden you notice either your attitude indicator get wonky or your directional gyro get way off and you look at your suction gauge and it's reading zero then nine times out of ten this vacuum pump failed if not then maybe a hose uh, feeding from the vacuum pump to your filter to your instruments somewhere along the line uh, uh, 
uh, slipped off. I've seen some fittings in the back of some instruments uh, were plastic and just the kind of the, the weight of the hose just broke uh, the fitting off and so it caused some issues. So anyway, I hope this video helps uh, give you a better understanding of the vacuum system. Thanks.